that's wrong to the case number, but this is KCR 22 21 16 23, the state of Idaho versus Chad Guy Daybell. Is that correct? That's correct. You hold yourself out as and title yourself attorney for the defendant. Why do you say that? Judge, as you know, this is a template form, and I simply forgot to take that off of there. I should have signed citizen. Citizen? Yes. Why are you referencing your bar number if you're just citizen? Telling me you mistakenly just wanted to file something as a citizen and not as a lawyer? I was looking for immediate relief because of the current concerns I had about the case, Your Honor. And why were you doing that on, on a Friday night at almost midnight? What, As, you've known about this case for a long time, according to your own content here, right? That's correct. So why are you doing it then? Because I thought I needed to do something to slow it down. Trial scheduled for how many years and you wanted to slow it down the day before trial started? You also stayed in here and call yourself an intervener. What basis do you have to intervene? Okay, and you're going to intervene now not as Terry Ratliff lawyer, Terry Ratliff citizen at large? I think it's semantics, Your Honor. Oh, boy, let me stop you there. It's absolutely not. A bar licensed attorney filing something with their bar number to the court is completely different than a citizen. That is not semantics. What authority you have that says you have a right to intervene either as an attorney or a citizen in this case? As outlined in our brief, Judge, sorry about that. As outlined in our brief, we have given the court several cases where the Idaho appellate courts have allowed people to intervene in cases in a criminal matter, even though they're not parties. That's my basis. So you intervene and then uh, we've got two parties here. We've got the state, we've got Chad Daybell, and you're going to float around and be what if you intervene in this case? What are you going to be? I'm not going to be floating around this case, Judge, because you haven't granted my motion. Well, assuming you got to intervene, you assumed in your motion you did intervene because you called yourself the intervener once you got going in your motion. What were you going to be at that point? I was hoping to have a hearing in front of you before the trial started. Okay. And you said you were going to be the lawyer for the defendant or already were the lawyer for the defendant. Is not. That I explained to you just a few minutes ago that that was a mistake. Explain to me all of the misspellings and typographical errors in your late night filing. I was nervous and it was late at night. I didn't take this lightly. You didn't take it lightly, but you used the wrong form. You misrepresented if you were an attorney or a citizen and you signed three times as attorney for defendant. Um, and that's your explanation? Yes. All right. And similar to what would happen in a civil case with a frivolous type filing, which this was, this cost time, this cost effort, this cost real loss for the attorneys, for the court, I'm going to instruct counsel for both the state and the defense if they could itemize the time they have spent both in today's hearing, in preparing for the hearing, as well as in dealing with this pleading from the time it was filed on Friday night, the 29th, whatever time you've put into that, I'm going to direct Mr. Ratliff that you pay reasonable attorney fees incurred for the time Mr. Pryor spent at his typical hourly rate for the state's attorneys and whatever rate they are entitled to charge as public prosecutors. And the court will likewise itemize some billing time incurred in this. And the sanction the court's going to order is the payment of those attorney fees 